Hey everyone, Corey from Corey Reviews back here with another Blu-ray hunting out and about video. Uh, there's really only one place I'm going and one thing I'm looking for, obviously it's Tuesday, September 1st. You know what that is, the Mad Max Fury Road, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Of course, one of my favorite films of the year, probably my second favorite film of the year. Obviously, if you know me, it's right behind It Follows. It Follows is still my personal favorite film of the year. Uh, so I think he goes, uh, It Follows, Mad Max, Fury Road, and Inside Out. Uh, I know it's going to go really fast, and I'm, I'm sure I probably won't be the only one there. And for some reason, last night, Best Buy wasn't offering the uh, the pre-order you know, uh, for the store pickup. I don't know what's up with Best Buy lately. So supposedly, they haven't been doing that for some of their exclusives. And before I get on the road, uh, I just kind of want to touch on a subject. I know everybody's been talking about it. It's all over social media. But, of course, it is the passing of the late great Wes Craven. I mean, if, if you took a handful of directors that inspired me when I was really, really young, um, it, it, one of them would definitely be Wes Craven. Uh, I mean, some of my fondest memories go back to, you know, the the 90s and, you know, uh, every day when my uncle would come home, he introduced me to, you know, all the, the big horror films, you know, the, at least the franchises with Halloween, uh, Friday the 13th, and of course, Nightmare on Elm Street. And, you know, Wes Craven, man, I mean, that guy, that guy was so awesome. He he was just a big lover of the genre. He, he he's kind of like no BS. He was like, look, this is my genre. I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, I started off a horror icon i'm gonna end off a horror icon and he you know he loved the genre he loved his craft and he loved his fans i mean even you know towards the end he was still you know accepting fan mail and you know signing stuff you know even uh, not too long before he passed he, he directed another entry into the scream franchise you know he was just a really cool guy i mean if you watch interviews with him you know that this is one of the nicest guys in the industry and you know it's as sad as it is that we lost a great filmmaker you know i mean as i get older i'm getting more and more into the horror genre like like i used to be when i was younger and you know just as a film fanatic as well and and also as a filmmaker that inspired me so greatly when i was younger um you know it's sad that we lost a great filmmaker but with how crazy the world is today it's sad that we lost a great human being and also for any Wes Craven fans and Scream fans, uh, if you're a fan of the TV series, I know some people, it's kind of like hit or miss. Um, I mainly started to kind of get into it because I heard Bella Thorne was on the show and I'm a big fan of hers. But I know tonight at 7 p.m. is going to be the, uh, the first season finale. I think the title of the episode is called Revelations and they're going to do a Wes Craven tribute. So it's going to be on MTV tonight, 7 p.m. Uh, so for any West Craven fans, any Scream fans, or any fans of the TV series, uh, definitely check that out. That'll be on MTV tonight. So yeah, guys, on, on my way to Best Buy. See you there. All right, guys, I am here at the Beast. There isn't anyone in line or anything like that yet. So I'm hoping for the best. Let's hope that there's some Mad Max still books in there. Minty Mint. I'm ready. Let's go. Right, guys so I just got out of Best Buy right now um, as you can see there was a very very short montage of actual video that I caught in store just because there were employees everywhere didn't really want to take out my camera you know because they're still stocking stuff it's you know, it's early in the morning there's a lot of new releases as well as there were employees going around because there were only four copies of the Mad Max Fury Rose still book and so there was three on the new release shelf and then there was like another uh, shelf behind it that had uh, some other new releases and there was one still book on that shelf so four still books total in my local store um, I guess I can see why they didn't do the uh, the in-store pickup for it just because it was so limited the lady even confirmed in the store that there were only four still books that they received total at, at my local store and I'm not sure if it's every store but I heard that um, certain stores were putting like for the people that pre-ordered that they were putting their copies on the floor because of how limited it was and that it was first come first serve and that certain you know employees were telling customers like hey even though you pre-ordered you still got to be here early in the morning to pick up your copy i got here about 10 minutes before they opened uh, there were some people outside and then all of a sudden 
people started coming in for the steel books. I mean, I got there first. I got to the shelf first, thankfully, so I could I could choose which one that I wanted. And then all of a sudden, all these people started showing up. You know, then there were some people that came in afterwards and they're like, hey, where are the steel books? And they're asking, you know, trying to hunt down a manager and stuff. And, you know, they're like, sorry, we only got, you know, four copies in total. And, uh, you know, there were some pretty upset customers uh, today at my local store. But what was really cool is that I met three fellow viewers of my channel. So it was pretty cool. You know, I've been recognized a few times, especially at work. Uh, you know, I work at a movie theater. So, um, you know, I guess it, it would make sense maybe to get recognized at a movie theater since it's a movie channel. But it was really cool. I, I mean, I kind of figured that, you know, if I'm coming to Best Buy, you know, right when they open for a still book for a big movie, big release still book that, you know, I'll probably come across some people that, you know, watch my channel or something. I had, I kind of had a feeling uh, that it probably would happen. And sure enough, it did happen. But it was still really cool and kind of um, uh, unexpected at the same time, you know. Uh, I don't want to reveal their names and, you know, I didn't uh, put them in the video just in case they didn't want to be on, on camera. But they were really nice. Uh, we talked about Steelbooks for a while. Uh, but with, that, with all that being said, I did get my copy. Uh, it's pristine condition. It was $19.99, which is a hell of a good deal for a brand new release Steelbook. And the fact that it's a great, very highly rewatchable film is as well um, but it's a blu-ray dvd and it comes with the ultraviolet digital copy all right so i took off the uh the paper backing there which if you want to read all the stuff there on the back there you go and then it is a matte finished toe book not glossy but that's the front there with that theatrical poster art and the back there with max And then the inside, you get two discs. They both look exactly the same, as usual with Warner Brothers. It's the Blu-ray disc and the DVD disc. And then inside artwork here is completely awesome. There it is. So that's the complete inside artwork and the complete outside. So, all right, guys, so that was my quick out and about today for uh, Mad Max Fury Road, the Best Buy exclusive Blu-ray steelbook. Very happy that I was able to secure a copy. And also, it was a really nice surprise to come across some fellow viewers on my channel. And if you all are watching this channel, you guys know who you are. It was really nice talking to you guys today. And it was pretty awesome just to get out early and uh, to come across some people that uh, not only watch my channel, but are also kind of big into still books like I am. So, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this quick out and about video. And until next time, Corey from Corey Reviews. See y'all later.